Salute to Hoops guys, welcome back to the channel. Another day, another video, another day in the sports card world, guys. So today is a little bit different of a video. Uh, not too glamorous, glamorous of a video, but we are going to be talking about penny sleeves today. As you can see, we have various types of penny sleeves here, and uh, we're really going to see if all penny sleeves are created equal. So that's what the video is about today. Uh, it's not, like I said, the most glamorous portion of the hobby. Uh, we're not ripping any national treasures or anything like that, but uh, it's definitely a part of the hobby that um, I believe needs to be spoken about. So that's what we are doing today, guys. Uh, if you like the video or like what you see, hit that subscribe button for me, please. We're at 430 followers on the Salute Tubes channel. And we are nearing nearing 450, but we, are, we already know the goal is 500. So hopefully we can get to that soon. So if you do like the video, hit the like button, helps with the YouTube algorithm, and then subscribe to my channel, it'll be greatly appreciated. So now that we got that out of the way, we have one, two, three, four, five, six brands of penny sleeves here. Um, and we got some cards to top load. So we are going to do like, a, I guess a little review slash see if uh, if these kind of random ones are, are better than uh, what we expect. So let's go ahead and kind of go for this here so first we're gonna go ahead with the ultra pro platinum series i've talked about these in a video before uh these you can get at walmart um they started off being like 10 bucks a pack and i think they realized how horrible of a price point that was so uh they've since lowered them to uh, eight bucks for a hundred of them. So, and we're losing card sleeves here. All right, guys, we're back. Sorry for the cut in the video. There's like a gap between uh, the table and the wall. That's why they fell on through there. So anyway, going back to these, these are the ultra pro platinum uh, penny sleeves. Uh, like I was saying before they fell off of the damn table. I've covered these in a video before. Um, but if you guys hadn't seen the video, I thought I'd, I'd buy them again to see what they were all about. They used to be 10 bucks at Walmart. They're now eight bucks for a hundred, which I guess isn't too bad of a price point. These are thicker than just the regular uh, ultra pros. And at first I did not like them. They were kind of difficult to get the cards in, uh, because they're a little thicker, but, uh, these are excellent if you're like running out of, or if you don't have any top loaders whatsoever, or for those cards kind of like this, uh, these where like you're not too sure if like you want to you know i guess waste the top loader per se or if you're running low on them uh they're thick enough to where it still won't damage the car if you just put them in one of your car boxes so uh they do fit well in just the regular top loaders as well uh it takes a little bit more oomph to get them in but as you can see is able to find one right here um a little bit more muscle in there but uh, they work perfectly fine for sure. I think at eight bucks, I wouldn't mind uh, spending the the money on that. Um, what I do like about them, like I said, is that they're like super clear, and uh, you can just put them, throw them in the box uh, without a top loader on them. On the, kind of those cards that are like, eh, maybe, maybe I want to. So definitely, definitely like the premium protectors. However, uh, I can't say that they would be my. I guess my first uh, choice. I mean, I'm more so of a uh, old faithful premium card holder for the Ultra Pros, which we're gonna we're gonna bring those out right now. We all know about these guys. These are pretty much the ones I buy every time from the store. Are the uh, premium card sleeves? I think they're still around two fifty or three bucks, depending on where you buy them at. LCS might be a little bit more, but we all know. This is like the go-to, at least for me anyway. I think for a lot of people in the hobby, the Ultra Pro Premium, uh, normal, regular penny sleeve does the job. Uh, not gonna fully fully protect it like the, the premium ones there. Um, so if you're just gonna throw these in like a card box or something, uh, these are probably for more so just, I don't know, regular base or color. Um, I know a lot of people like to sleeve all their cards. I'm not that type of person that sleeves like my base and stuff, but color stuff or any rookies I really sleeve. And 
not as durable as the uh, premium car protectors or the what are these called again um yeah premium i believe is what they're called anyway uh not as durable as them still got some give in the plastic but uh like i said these are kind of just my go-to's for uh regular sleeving and then top loading as far as my cards go for sure all right next up we got some random ones here these are some ones that i was able to find at my my lcs uh Beckett makes some sleeves as well, so we're going to find out how these are. I don't want to cut my fingers off in the video here. See how these go. All right, kind of, I mean, I guess in a pinch, these will do. They're kind of flimsy compared to the Ultra Pros. Uh, these wouldn't really be my first choice at all for sure, but um for i guess for around the same price point as the ultra pros i uh, i think i would stick with these they, they both come with 100 in a pack but i don't know something about this plastic's a little too on the thin side for me so not too sure about the beckett ones to be honest with you next we have uh these pro safe uh card sleeves here never heard of these before i saw it like i said saw these at my lcs and um let's see what these are all about here all right not bad just for a random uh set of of sleeves here uh they kind of they're kind of like the same material or I guess that you should you could say they're the same like um, quality as the Beckham ones that we just did. Let's see what it's like putting these in a top loader here. They're kind of there we go. Kind of on the thinner side, the thinner side of things, but it fits in the car, in the card holder. A little bit of space for give on on both sides, so they're kind of bigger than like your normal card. Uh, not too sure these would be like my first choice. Maybe in a pinch, of course, but uh, the UD is kind of old faithful. Still, kind of still has my love on that one. All right, next up, we have uh, BCW card sleeves. Let's get these out of here. All right, these I would say are more so probably more like the Ultra Pro um, as far as quality goes. Uh, got some give in the corners still, so probably just wouldn't toss them in, in like a box or something in these. But there's a little bit of give there. But as far as Ultra, as far as like a comparison, I, I would compare these to the most to the Ultra Pro, just the regular premium card sleeves. Uh, then the other two for sure. Uh, like I said, these are all the same price point. So uh, basically, uh, I, in a pinch, I, I get anything will do for sure. But if if we're talking kind of quality over quantity here, next up, last but not least, we have premium trading card sleeves. Get these open here. Packaging's a little difficult. All right, not bad. Kind of not as clear as the uh, as the other ones. Kind of have like a fog to them, honestly. So I'm not too sure I really like these ones at all. Um, same song and dance for these. If I guess if you're in a pinch, they'll work. But these really would not be uh, my first choice. I want to see what they look like in a holder here. I have a random one. A little on the flimsy side too so all right yeah not 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 my not my not my first choice for these premium trading card sleeves here uh no knock on them but definitely definitely gonna be a no-go for me now i have to decide what i'm gonna do with all these i'm probably 
I'm definitely going to end up using all these since uh, I guess they're, they're loaders and they're, they're around, so I can't let them go to waste. But thought that I would do a video for you guys on these kind of just uh, reviewing them, going over all your different options. I'm sure there's more uh, card sleeves to be had. I mean, I've seen other ones around, but these were just uh, a solid amount that I could that I could um, kind of review for you guys. So I guess as far, if you're going for best of the best, it's gonna be obviously the first ones we spoke about, which are like the super premium uh, you, ultra pro ones. And then I gotta go, honestly, the other ones, Old Faithful, just the regular premium card sleeves, and then these BCW ones weren't too bad as well. Um, with the other ones kind of being in the middle here. Least favorite, definitely these premium trading card sleeves. That's just what they're called. There's, I don't know the company that makes them, um, but was not too uh, too keen on these as far as like the clarity of the, the sleeve itself. And then the way it fit in the top loader was kind of awkward as well. So kind of a short, sweet to the point video guys. Like I said, it wasn't gonna be a glamorous video but thought that this would be uh, something that people in the hobby would appreciate is talking about. So um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, enjoyed the review. Hopefully this kind of gives you some input um, on, you know, the choices you have when you go to your LCS or if you're in kind of a pinch for some tiny sleeves. So I do appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. And I will see you guys on the next one. Take it easy.